now finished the first path after two days. These elements are just from Citadel. They're basically copies from the um, instructions I previously made. So we have the caged helix and the radial maze. The radial maze is actually pretty tall. I think it's taller than the original. That was in Citadel. And at the bottom, instead of a floor like I usually would have done, I just did a track like this. It's, it works pretty well. So that's nice. And it, it half of it goes right onto the track bloat. You'll probably see that in a minute as I test it. One thing about this radial mace is that it's still pretty wiggly. I haven't supported the top yet, but this is how I've supported most of the middle. It's that type of thing going all the way down. And that's double yellow rod right there actually holds up the caged helix. It's under tension. So let's run some balls down. Here's the um, the top track. I had to include dark gray connectors there in order to hold the orange connectors in place. And it was pretty blurry, but oh well. Reset the pass separators. And it just lands right in. Let's get that again. Yeah, I kind of lost that one at the end. And one more. Cool. So I haven't extensively tested that yet. I'll probably... Um, I like testing the elements at the very end when they're all on. Because things tend to change as I build it. But it looks like it'll work pretty well. And I like how this right here is pretty much right at the bottom of this. So it acts as a good railing. It's about a yellow rod high from the actual uh, maze part. And if I wanted to, I could actually continue these rods all the way up to cover the helix part because it's right on the outside. But I don't think that's necessary. I might do that, but probably not. The second path is now finished. It begins with a classic flexi tube, which I can't remember the last time I used one of those. I think it was in Cataclysm. It's pretty cool to use them again. It'll make a nice noise. And then we have a zigzag free fall that goes all the way down. So this path is finished in just a day because it's so short. But, um, the only thing that's different is back there is a little bit different how it attaches from the instructions that I um, have online. And then these parts are also a little bit different. So it goes in from here, from that pass separator. And the top is also kind of redone. It's a lot simpler than it was in Citadel. There's no track needed or anything like that. It just falls right in. Another thing I've done before I test that one is I've changed this caged helix right here because sometimes it was falling out of the side. So then I, I had placed a rod right here going like that. You've probably noticed in, the, um, in a different video clip, but that could cause it to get stuck, so I removed it. But then that makes it able to fall out. I've also removed the blue rods on the inside. Those blue rods used to keep it from coming out of the um, this side without the track on it. But now the whole thing has track, so I don't need that. So hopefully it'll work without the balls falling out this time. There's no way they could fall out now. As you can see, there's no gaps. So let's test out this path.
It happens really fast, so hopefully I'll get it. And it lets out right on the track, which is what most of the elements will do, because it's just easier that way. Can we get another one? So hopefully having the um, those will work every time. If not, I'll just change them out to the old ones. I just thought it might, they um, don't have as much of a slope. The other ones are just diagonal, uh, 45 degrees. So hopefully this causes the ball to sl fall down a little bit slower than the original. But it still looks like it's about the same. Oh well. Step back a little bit more. So that's that path. I'm not yet done with another path, but this is what it's going to be. It's almost done. So it's probably going to start from up here, maybe do some kind of... I don't know what it's going to do in between yet, but we'll find out. And this is a uh, mini vortex, which isn't actually that much smaller than the uh, normal sized one from Citadel. So, let's see. Before we test it, let's get a closer look at it. So this one's made out of orange tubing, and it actually works a lot better than I thought it would, the orange tubing does. And this is really old orange tubing too. This was, um, I know this set of tubing was from my first um, big Kinect set, the roller coaster set, which was in like, what, 2002, 2001? I don't know. But it looks pretty good. And the nice thing about this tubing is since it's thinner, you can see the ball easier from the side, even though there isn't really much. I guess you can see it from the side right there. And this just snapped off. I'll have to fix that. So this is how I'm doing the curve leading up to it. And this is another thing I thought was cool. It's up here. This, um, these supports right here don't um, stop anywhere, so they just kind of go inside of those supports all the way down, so I thought that was pretty neat how that just happened to fit up like that. And I also have the end of the loop supported like this. So obviously after that ends, it's going to have to have a track that leads over to there, because that's the lowest point on this um, outer track. So, let's test it out. So I'll do it from here. It's pretty nice. And just for, just to test it, I kind of wanted to drop the ball from here, then somewhere in the middle, just to see how many times it goes around each time. So here's all the way from the top. And now let's do it hmm, down to here maybe. All right. I'm trying to um, see how many times it goes around, so I'll just have to um, play the video in slow motion later on or something.